Hi, this is Rob Hanley with the Durham Duplicate Bridge Club on Tuesday, October the 17th for the 499er. We have three hands for you today. The first one is number nine. Rivers open to hearts, and I find myself with four hearts and 14 useful points, plus a dubious queen of diamonds, making 16. Uh, I'm definitely going to game. Uh, the real question is whether or not slam is there. So I have a couple of approaches I could take here. Playing two over one, I could bid two clubs and then make a delayed raise in hearts to show my slam interest wouldn't fit in hearts. I could also splinter to four diamonds, uh, or I could bid the very popular convention of Jacoby Juno Trump, which is the one I'm going to use today. So this guarantees a four card fit for my partner and game forcing in. Bid three spades. That's an artificial bid. It says that they have a singleton or a void in spades. It doesn't indicate the strength of their hand, top or bottom. It just says short spades. So that's not really deterring me here. I'm going to continue with four clubs. This is the ace or king of clubs and it says I'm looking for slam and hearts. First bid four diamonds. That's good news. If partner had bid four hearts, they would have said that they had a dead minimum. They were not interested in slam. Uh, by bidding four diamonds, uh, they're not saying absolutely they're going to slam, but they're saying they're encouraged. So I like the fact that my partner's encouraged on this. I like the fact I have five clubs on the side, which are probably going to be running tricks, lots of discards from that. So I'm just going to continue with four no trump. We play 14.30, so there are five key cards. I have two. My partner has shown me two, and they do not have the Queen of Trump. So at this point, uh, small reevaluation here. We're missing the Queen of Trump, and I don't know if my partner has the King of Hearts or the uh, Ace of Diamonds, and we're missing the King and Queen of Hearts, uh, or the Ace of Hearts for that matter. So I think what I'm going to do is, based on the nine-card fit, uh, I'm actually going to go to Slam anyway. Uh, I think the odds are actually pretty good. All right, so we're missing the king and queen of hearts. That's probably the best case scenario. There's actually a 75% chance that the robot sitting north on my left has at least one of those hearts. So declare we're going to win this and double finesse the heart. Finesse, win the return, and finesse again. There's the first one. Well, they solved that. They continue to the course. And it looks like we Lots of tricks at this point. Ace and King of Defense will allow us to get rid of two losing states, and the Ace can't really play on in. Cross from the West will do the trick. So I think we'll just claim at this point. And making 12 tricks. So I think. Uh, a lot of people get hung up on high card points, and I think this hand demonstrates that actual tricks in your hand sometimes are just as important as high card points. Uh, I have those running clubs on the side. I have a nine card fit with my partner. Uh, my partner, despite having 12 high card points, is mildly interested in the slam once I show my situation because they have two five card suits. Uh, and uh, obviously I wasn't deterred by their shortness in spades. So all in all, uh, I think it's a pretty good slam to be in. All right, we're going to pause while we change directions for the next hand. Hi, right, we're back, this time with hand number 11. Card is open to diamond. There's been a weak jump over call of three clubs on my right. I have 13 high card points. I have at least a good partial stopper in clubs, and I have four spades. So I've seen a lot of people lately struggling with this kind of hand, and they tend to bid three spades with only four of them. That's not correct. You need five spades to bid three spades. Uh, so what do I do with this hand? I actually am going to make a negative double. I'd like to have four hearts and four spades, but on this hand, I'm actually kind of covered. If partner bids three hearts in response to my ne uh, negative double, then I bid three no trump because I, I'm willing to risk the club situation. And partner will know I must have also had four spades, so we won't miss, miss a four four spade fit. If partner bids three spades, then we found our fit, and I'm off to game in spades. If partner bids three diamonds, 
I can just bid three no trump. And again, there's no real problem in the auction. three diamonds, so I'm off to three no trump, as I said. All right, so quick tally. I have good chance I've got six diamonds, and two hearts is eight, and spade is nine, and I've got possibilities for over tricks, but the most important thing is I've got my contract. Okay, they've continued clubs for me. That will set, establish my queen for an extra trick. And I need to decide what to discard from the dummy on the club. I think if there's even yet one more possible trick, it's going to be in hearts, not spades. So I'm going to discard a spade on this. There we go. And continuing with that reasoning, I'm going to get rid of another spade. And I'm going to start drawing those diamonds. All right, and the diamonds are split. And I'm going to discard spades from my own hand. And at this point, I'm going to cash out. I got an over trick because they led and continued clubs. So ace of hearts and a heart towards my hand. If the queen drops, great. If it doesn't, meh. So there you go, it dropped. And I actually have the remaining two tricks as well. All right, so I actually managed to make uh, some over tricks there. Uh, I think this hand, it's, it's, it's interesting because I only have one four card major for my, my uh, negative double at the three level. Uh, but as you can see, a little bit of planning, it works out just fine. All right, we're going to pause while we change for the final hand. All right, I'm back with the final hand, number 18. Three passes to me. I have 20 high card points, but I actually have four losers, one in diamonds, one in clubs, and two in spades. So I don't really like to open to no trump with distributional hands that have four losers, I like to have three or fewer. So I'm gonna open one diamond instead and see how the auction develops. So partners bit a heart, uh, that's good news. It means that they've got five or six points uh, at least. Uh, and now I'm feeling much better about my hand. Uh, negative double on my right, not thrilled about that. But let's get back to my hand. Possible final contracts here, I'm thinking five diamonds uh, and possibly three no trump. So as usual, you've all heard it, if you'd much rather be in three no trump than five diamonds if it makes. Uh, and the question is, how do I get to three no trump? So a few times in other videos, I've mentioned a convention called a Western Cubid. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna do here. I have something in spades, which is nice but I'm not worried about hearts, clubs, or diamonds. It's really just about the spades. So what I'm gonna do is bid three of a suit the opponents have shown. West has shown spades with that takeout double. And that is asking my partner to bid three no trump if they have a stopper in spades. Uh, if they don't have a stopper in spades, then they'll just bid four diamonds and I can go from there. Three no trump. So that's good news. If partner has something like king third, then it makes it very difficult for the robot to lead the spade. And they didn't. The good news is it looks like we have one spade, one heart is two, and two clubs is four, and seven diamonds is 11 tricks. Now, when it isn't going to hurt you, uh, it Usually it's a good idea to run your long suits when you're in no trump, uh, while the robots won't make any mistakes on the defense. A lot of people will discard incorrectly. So here, partner is eating the diamonds and throwing all the clubs from the dummy because they want to make it seem like they don't care about clubs. 
Now they're going to force out the spade. Okay, that works. And just like the robot to throw the queen to mess with your head on the previous trick. All right, so we managed to take 11 tricks. Uh, much better to take 11 trick in no trump than it is to play five diamonds and have no more tricks. All right, that's it for this week. We'll see you next time. Thanks.